My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. The only way I'm going to get better at magic is by using it. So I can no longer rely on my weapons. It's time that I become a better vampire. I'm also challenging myself by working alone. All right, I need to speak with Tolfdeer about what I'm told is being called the Eye of Magnus. Tolfdeer. Good to see you. You as well. Urag suggested I come see you. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Well, wonderful is one way of looking at it. I found a certain book. Night of Tears. Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and Nair fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aliad, Rema, Daedric, not even Farmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience. It's that damn Ancano again. This marvelous object. It practically radiates magicka. And yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, intrude. I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. Yes, the audacity. Some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's really? go. Maybe you should tell me what's going on. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Sigic Order here in the college. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. I'm sure there's a lot that you'd like to know, but unfortunately, you never will. Why are you so concerned about this? I'll be the one asking the question. Will you, you now? Know, How the dare you? The is a rogue organization, believing themselves to be above the law. They have clashed with the Old Mary Dominion before, and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. Talk about audacity. <sighs> Can I just rip his throat out now? Can I drain him dry of blood? Now. You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. Whatever you think. 
Which way am I going? Must be this way. Arniel? I'm working on some very important yes. research, I assure you. You're being nosy, that's what you're doing. Yes, come on. I really like how presumptuous you are. <laughs> sign of him. There's the archmage. And a visitor. Please do not be alarmed. I mean you what? no harm. What's happening? It's that effect. The same one in Sarthal. He's frozen time. Appears that we're the only it is good two to meet you in person. unaffected. I suppose it's good to meet you as well. What's going on? What's happened to the Archmage? I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. Hmm. You know, I think you have something there. When the Eye of Magnus was in Sarthal, it was protected by an energy curtain. Here, it is completely bare and exposed. I'm sure the energy that it's radiating is causing unforeseen issues. So, if this is so dangerous, then why don't you do something about it? I'm afraid it's not that simple. Isn't it? You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm also aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. I wouldn't call him an associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. And why should I trust you, or your order? I presume you refer to Ankano's distaste for the Sigic Order. The Thalmor see our order as a threat because we have power, and mm. we will not allow them to control us. I assure you that we mean you no harm. That really doesn't answer my question. And it's not Ankano's... apprehension about the Sigic Order. They're mine. So, what exactly is the problem? As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Mm. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. Power, you say? Yes. Even I might be inclined to misuse it, as you suggest. So, what is it then that you expect from me? We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath. But we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order. But I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane. Here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. I've never heard of this Augur. Where can I find him? I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. 
Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. Hmm. I'm sorry. Were you about to say something? I suppose we're waiting for Ancano. <laughs> Who took his sweet time. Or maybe not. Is he coming here? To try to cause a scene? Well, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. Hmm. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. <laughs> The posturing is so thick in this room. All right. So I suppose he's being ushered out. Archmage. I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. <laughs> Yes, you seem to be a bit clueless. So, you tell me, what did he want? Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Have you ever heard of the Augur of Dunlane? Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Really? Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. It's funny. He never mentioned it. It was you. Uh, until next time. Yes. Enjoy your bread. These pompous magicians. Can't wait to get out of these ridiculous robes. But I must continue my masquerade. All right, so from his slip of the tongue, it seems that Tolf Deer is the person I need to speak to about the auger. Is he still here? Hmm. Figures. He was probably so upset with that altercation with Ancano that he's off sulking somewhere. Hmm. Beauty, he says. All I see is power. <laughs> Must find a way to harness it night again. Wait, this no, oh, it is Tolf dear. He sleeps here with the students. Interesting. Hmm, my mask is going to fade. Let me just take a few moments and let it wear off. <laughs> All right. There we are. Tolf, dear. <laughs> mm. 
good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Almost. Fine. All right, so, what can you tell me about the Augur of Dunlane? Well now, there's a name I haven't heard in some time. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the Midden, but I haven't checked. Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Wait a minute. Tolf, dear, I didn't know that you had two colored eyes. One brown and one green. That's interesting. So, anyway, tell me, where is the Midden? Underneath the college. It's not the nicest place, so if you go down there, please do be careful. All right. I'm going to talk to you later about more alteration power. But for now, tell me more about the Augur of Dunlane. Well, I suppose he wouldn't mind. It was all before my time, you understand. I've heard the stories. Is anything Same before your else. time? He was a brilliant student, an accomplished wizard. Delved into magic in a way none had seen before. But I think he became too focused on just how much power he could acquire. Hmm. That's what led to the accident. What accident? Do you remember what I first told you? About how not being able to control magic could destroy you? I didn't simply mean it could kill you. The Augur's accident is another very real type of a life destroyed. Well, it's been described as an accident. I can't imagine it was intentional. Something must have gone wrong, and he ended up in the state he's in now, fused to the energies that flow through the college. I've never felt it appropriate to ask him about it, about how that must feel. But I suppose if he can feel it all. Well, this is certainly a cautionary tale. Perhaps I shouldn't be so thirsty for power. All right, then. Take care now. Yes, thank you for your assistance. Look at that Ancano. He's always up to something. All right, let me find the Midden. But before we go down, I want to meditate for a moment. All right, I'm going to increase my magicka. Huh? to my abilities later. Let's go. That's better. I hear something moving. Mm. So this is a passage from within the college.
right while I could jump down. Let's explore this way. This might be a more gradual decrease. All right, this seems odd. What's the smoke here? A dagger of ice. What? Blood? They've been torturing people down here. Thought this was a college. will allow me easier egress. Aha, an ice wraith, I figured. they teach any courses in blood magic so I just have to learn to make myself stronger Manual. This is a lot to read. All right, I'll take this. Fire salts. Ruby, more fire salts. And where were these fire salts when I needed them for Balaman's forge? So this is some sort of... I need an offering. Huh. All right, I'm not exactly sure what this does. Suppose I can ask Tolf, dear, at some later time. So, listen, I could have just jumped down, but... Wait, what? Really? So, midden dark. And what should I expect here? Funny how it's called midden dark, and yet I had to turn off my vampiric sight because it was too bright. Something else in here. I suppose I should just follow the trail. Hmm. 
just animal bones. So, why? What? Will only lead to disappointment. Still, you persist. Very well. You may enter. There's some light coming from. Hmm. Of course. You've become pure energy. Speak to me. So, you're the augur of Dunlane. I am that which you have been seeking. Your efforts are in vain. Really? It has already begun. What? But those who have sent you have not told you what they seek. What you seek. And what is it that I'm seeking? You seek that which all who wield magic seek. Knowledge. That you sounds right. This knowledge will corrupt. It will destroy. It will consume. You seek meaning, shelter in knowledge. You will not find it. The Thalmor sought the same thing, and it shall lead to his end, as it has so many others. Hmm, the Thalmor. You're speaking of Ancano, aren't you? And you're telling me that I'm not the first to come see you. No, though you may be the last. The one who calls himself Ancano has sought my knowledge as well, through very different questions. Your path differs from most. You are being guided, pushed towards something. Interesting. It is a good path. Good. Un untraveled by many. It is a path that can save your college. It's not my college. I will tell you what you need to know to follow it further. You can tell me. It doesn't mean I'm going to listen. <laughs> All right then, what do I need? You and those aiding you wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. To see through Magnus's eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Events now spiral quickly towards the inevitable center, so you must act with haste. Take this knowledge to your Archmage. What? He's gone. Hmm. What a pitiful existence. I hope nothing like this ever befalls me. All right, let's go and find the Archmage. Bones. Creaking bones. All right, that doesn't seem to be valuable. And look at this, a sweet roll. Who's been down here eating? Wait. Ah. Right in front of me.
what? What is this? I suppose it's a mystery for another day. Is there anything else in here I should know about? Hmm, what's this? A key. And a report. The missing students were found in the midden this morning. Dead, as expected. None of us bothered keeping a Detect Life charm for the search at this point. The bodies were found together, each suffering the same deformities. Peeled and bubbling skin on the arms and face. Conjurer's burn, as it's commonly referred to around the college. There's little doubt that they were attempting a summoning ritual well beyond their capabilities. The relic nearby put any doubt in this theory to rest. I admit that I've never seen one like it, a large segmented sculpture of a gauntlet, the Daedric Sigil. Okay, whatever that sigil is, emblazoned on the palm. Attempts to move it were in vain. I must show it to Archmage Sidoth during his upcoming visit. Perhaps he will know more. While we couldn't move the relic, I was able to pry four rings from it. I'm sure there's a connection between them and the ritual the students were attempting. I'll store these in the Arcanium until we can consult with a conjuration master to learn more. All right. So, Urag should know something about these rings. something else in here. A spider, I'm sure. Let me try. What else have I got? Need to work on my... I don't know how effective electricity is on a spider, but we're about to find out. Oh, very effective. even against one as large as that. <laughs> and I chose the sparks because I can pretty much channel it indefinitely. My magicka pool isn't as drained. back here. All right, my mask is gone. I'll reapply it shortly. Since there's no one here to see me, doesn't really matter at this point. All right, I think... Where does this go? Outside. The Skyrim. Can I? Yes. Here we are. Some chest. Not much in it, though. <laughs> ha 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 ha. 
I love being able to freely use my vampiric ability. All right, so from dark midden to midden. Let's see if I can find my way out of here. is going to take me back to the college. All right, let's apply. An illusion. Now let's go. Ah, uh, I forgot. I had to take off my daylight ring so that I'd have more magicka. And I am going to have to feed soon as well. Who, I wonder, will be my next victim? Who is the most expendable person here at the college? <laughs> I haven't determined yet. Ah. Perhaps the Archmage himself. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Well, if you say so, I have important information for you. Really? And what might that be? We need to find the Staff of Magnus. I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. It's connected to the orb we found. And how do you know of this? Well, despite your admonition of talking about the Augur of Dunlane, I spoke with him. Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the Staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. I'm sure. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. And by someone, you mean me. I certainly do. Since you went so far as to seek out the Augur for advice, I thought you'd be more enthusiastic. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabel mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. I appreciate that, Archmage. All right, I need to speak with Mirabelle again. Let me check out this circlet that I've just been given. Mages, what? 77 points of magicka? Can I wear it with my... I can, I can wear it with my... Hood. <laughs> All right. Every little bit helps, you know. All right. It's time to go see Mirabelle. About a staff of Magnus.